Hello everybody, thank you for watching this video. What I will demonstrate is how to create a virtual Windows Server instant inside Amazon Web Services and how you can use it and try to basically try for your for your testing purpose for free for 12 months. And what that means for free, it's there is a limitations and you need to be careful to not go over these limitations because during the setup of your account, when you're going to click on create a free account during that setup, you will need to enter your credit card details, your bank card details and link your bank account to Amazon because just in case if you're going to go over, so you need to basically get ask you to pay and it gives you always free. Um, 12 months free and trials and etc. So right now if I scroll down on this page uh, by the way page is aws.amazon.com slash free and this is a list of free tiers that is allowing you to use. So if I'll go to let's say this one machine learning free trial and this will allow this you will be able to use this instant this setup for 12 months for free but with limitations. So in this video, what I'll show it to you is called EC2. So basically it's 750 hours a month of Linux uh, and etc. Uh, instance. Uh, obviously you can choose Windows Server as well. And as, as you can see on that, it says Windows Server as well. So you can choose uh, some of them and some of them are always free. So if I'll click always free. Some of these are going to be always free as long as you do not exceed the requirement um, for for basically to 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 use them. Like for example, this uh, unlimited use set as many rules as you want to manage third party license usages. And obviously these two is only always free. You go. This one is always free. Anyway, we are here for free tier EC2 setup. So um, create an account, email, password, all the basically all the other stuff that you expect that you get asked when you create an account on a new service. And, but it, it's going to ask you for credit card details, so make sure that you have a, a legal, legitimate credit card details. Otherwise, this is not going to work. But again, they're not going to charge you anything. A part of one pound or one dollar will be uh, in transaction for Amazon to verify your account. And Amazon will ask your mobile number for activation purpose, just to make sure that you're a real person, not the robot. And to, be, to set up this, your account, it took me 10 minutes, not even that. And then they, they state that your account will be activated within 24 hours. Mine was activated within like four minutes. So it's, it's very, very quick. So you create an account and you basically, you need to go to the 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 uh, AWS free tier, the link, which is this. I will leave by the way all the links in the description below. So that's the link you need to go to, and after you create an account, you just click on sign in to console. And the big list of all the uh, services they they have basically for you to use. They you can use I don't know. It's like some of them I don't even have a clue what they are, but we are here for EC2. So we're here for EC2. So if I click on EC2, I'll be uh, presented with another page and it gives me all the information. Uh, by the way, on the top right, you can choose your location. So it shows EU London. So it is represents the because Amazon has a lot of data centers across the world. Some of them does do one thing that other others can. So for example, Alexa business setup will work in America, but I can get access to the training module of that. So make sure that you have your your region set up just to me. You, you will know exactly what you're getting then. So right now list is free. So I'm going to click launch instant. And right now is a big list of items that I can choose from. I will make sure that I have a tick selected here. And now I can choose Amazon Linux 2. Uh, Red Hat, SUSE, uh, Ubuntu, etc. We're going to choose Windows Server 2016 uh, or 2018. Here we are. We're going to choose Windows Server 2018. That's where I'm going to go and we're going to click Select. And now it gives me a list of what kind of 
um, setup I would like to have inside this Windows Server. CPUs, uh, I can choose one all the way up to, I don't know, 6428 CPUs, which is very, very, very powerful uh, uh, server when you, when you think 128 uh, CPU modules there. Gigabytes of RAM, I can go basically from 0 0.5 or 1 and all the way to 300, I saw 384 and 1952 gigabytes of RAM. Okay, that's a big one. Obviously, uh, <coughs> excuse me, obviously I need to choose this because this is a free tier eligible. So I know that this will be included in my free trial. So I got basically a tick next to that. So I'm gonna click by here. I don't I don't think if you can see well you can see but by here just behind my face is gonna be a blue button saying review and launch. So I'm just gonna click on that. And another page being presented. So it tells me I chose T2 micro um, setup and pretty much nothing else there for me to go over storages. I have 30 gigabytes of storage instance everything else no problem and again behind my face there's a blue button saying launch so if we're gonna click on that it's gonna bring me a pop-up message where I need to set up the password so right now I'm gonna choose a new password pair and a password pair name I'm just gonna write password and click download key pair what it does is generates a crypto file which has been downloaded to my uh, device so if I'll go to uh, file manager, uh, or oh no, sorry, this way. Here you go, password.pem. That's the one I need to just keep it safe on my deck station. Let's go back to the website and I have this file downloaded. I'm just gonna click launch instant. And now it's the Amazon doing their own thing. They, they spinning up all, all the disks getting all the things set up and everything and if i click under view instance which you cannot see because my face is blocking the way but there you go view instance and right now i got this page presented where i can see the status status of the instance so at the moment it says initializing um, let's refresh this page because just selected a bunch of text so it's right now initializing. That can take between 10, 15 minutes. I tested this before recording this video and it was completed within like five, seven minutes. So it's, 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 it's quick. So right now you need to basically wait until it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna finish uh, initializing. And when it says status check two out of two, then you might be able to log in again. It's trial and error. So refresh, okay initializing under actions there is loads of options for you to choose instant state you can stop it reboot terminate it instant setting add tags get system log if i click on that it's going to be a big black and white uh, black background green color text just giving you um information about your instant so right now it's running uh, and again Change security groups, manage IP addresses and monitoring and etc. 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 And images, create image and all the big <laughs> fun, fun stuff for you to play with. So come on, let's wait. Like I said, in, in my first trial, it took me about five minutes. While it's loading, let's go back to the and again uh, to the list of what they're offering. And they, as you can see, they're offering like migration files. You can have your own FTP server, I believe. VPC, cloud networking, developing tools, roboting, uh, antenna, Amazon Sage, market maker. Loads and loads of things you can choose from if, if you're working for a company or you just want to do something, like try something. Loads of them already like being enabled for free tier. Some of them will be pro, um, will have you will have to pay so you need to make sure that you choose what's this one light sale we have no instance right now light sale is that oh that's wicked i'm gonna try that one later i can have basic wordpress running 
Node.js, Magento, uh, OS only, Ubuntu, I can have Ubuntu, brilliant. Uh, server, okay, I'll have this one, I'm gonna try this one. Right, let's go back to my instant and see, okay, it's got two out of two, just refresh, make sure it's showing, yes. So now I need to do, go and click connect. And now I connect it and it says, um, get the password. Uh, obviously this button we said the load remote file we're just gonna leave that for now we're gonna click the get the password and choose the file to upload inside the files I jump straight to a downloads folder I click my password.pem that I downloaded previously click open and decrypt the password and that's my password the big long uh, big long strings number strings symbols etc okay I click the button by here where it says copy and click download remote desktop file. If I click on that, the file has got downloaded. If I click open, it's going to automatically open RDP client for me. To get RDP client, you need to go to Google Play Store and search for uh, Microsoft RDP. Here you go. That's the one. So you go and download this one. So this one is downloaded your desk station and this automatically will be uh, this will app will automatically open every time you download the file. So I'm just going to say yes. Uh, never ask this. Connect. Password. I'm just going to paste the big long password. Username by default is always administrator. I'll click connect. No, thank you. And now I'm connecting to a virtual Windows server inside one of the closest data centers from Amazon. So we're doing all the necessary things what it needs to do. Let's give a second or so. And Windows Server. If I click on the Start menu, hold on. Obviously, I chose the the lowest tier or one of the lowest tier computers for this, so it can be a bit slowish than than what you what you ex like. Don't expect super fast computer because come on, it's free. So you just for your playing play playground. So. Command prompt starting and I can go to server management. Let's click and let's check server manager. Let's go to files. Let's just check how much storage I have. I believe by default, uh, the free tier gives you 30 gigs. Yes, it does. I have 30 gigabytes of storage. And ser server manager uh, program is starting now. And here we are, I can go and basically you can go and start testing your setup or etc etc that you want to oh, obviously it gives you a bit of stats on the right hand side it says network performance low to moderate total memory is basically one gigabyte of memory architecture amd64 and i have t2 micro that's basically my, my my setup that i chose okay so let's go shut this down shut down obviously like a server always asking you why you're shutting down a reason please so it's shutting down close it let's go back to Amazon website let's close that and I'm gonna say I would like to instant to be stopped and yes stop the instant so right now I'm sending a signal to Amazon um, um, data centers and asking them to stop this obviously um, 750 hours a month I believe that that's a lot of hours divided by 24 hours a day so 31 day 31 day constant use which is you think 70, 750 hours a month is basically it's non-stop i mean you can start this one and leave it running for all month but uh just because i know that my bank account is linked to amazon and they they might charge you without uh, a warning i believe that without the warning oh no no sorry um there is an option for you to create alarms okay so um i can create alarm when for example um cpu usage network this right okay i can give right go. anyway i suggest you to shut it down if you're not using it so right now this instance is being shut down so i'm gonna click action uh i'm actually gonna Okay, shut down, I click action, and I'm gonna say instant start. Sending a signal to Amazon servers, and I want this to, to get started again. Um, starting up after the first uh, 
setup it's 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 a bit faster not always fast but it is a bit faster so let's wait for this to finish to finish going uh, come on so initializing and when it's finished uh, i can click connect and then jump straight into the uh, microsoft remote desktop app android app and control this um before i start again recording this i've done a, a bit of testing this and i noticed that ip um, ip version 4 changes randomly so even if you go to your microsoft windows uh remote app not always that's going to connect so right now it's connecting and it's going to probably tell me error because it cannot find my remote computer because come on it's, it's already suspiciously taking too long so you go it's close because ip address changed because i shut down the instant and started again so if i click connect and now get the password you can get the password again i i think i already have this one uh, set up so i've just download the file click connect yes and paste and connect here we go i'm connected and now again this file that i downloaded has got a new setup a new ip address and etc already pre-saved that's why it's it's i would say it's more convenient well it's uh, it's taking a bit longer for you to go to amazon uh, website login and then connect by via, uh, via the, the web browser and then do all this but again this is for a testing purpose and um to be honest i do not expect um well testing purpose and i don't want to well it does exactly what i wanted to do i don't really moaning about this um uh, any anymore um uh, what I'll do probably in another video or something, first of all, I'm going to try to do this off camera just to see how, how this, what you can actually do here. I might, might do another video about all that thing because like right now I've got a 12 month free uh, AWS account. So for 12 months, I can basically use this reasonable usage and, and play around and test all the necessary, all the fun, fun things with it. Let's come on. Where is, oh yeah, shut down, shut down. Yes, it's planned, shut down. And now I have two because one is, well, and even right now when I'm gonna shut the, the instant and come back, it's gonna create a new one, a new one. It's a bit pain, but again, um, it's it's better be safe and sorry, especially when I know that my card, bank card is being linked and I just don't wanna start, get charged for something that uh, unwillingly or by my stupid, mistake start uh, start using and, and it's gonna cost me anyway thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comment section below what you think about all this and um, i'll see you in the next one bye bye